Hey guys, what's up? It's Intuition Angel getting ready to read for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind, this is just a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with all Capricorns out there. Check your birth chart. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. And everything else about this reading is in the description box below, including on how to contact me for personal, okay? All right, Capricorn, we have for you unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going and we have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic love life so capricorn it sounds to me that you or someone around you has to let go of someone here um you're tired of somebody you don't see something you see this person as maybe they just don't love themselves enough right and that's why you're not attracted to them right now, Capricorn, or they're not attracted to you. Take it how it resonates. I really feel like it's just you, you're just taking it as a loss with this person here. We have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So you're done with this person, but there's something unconditional about the situation. You could be committed to this person. And um, maybe this person has the wrong idea about love too. I'm also getting that. This person might have the wrong idea about love and the way love should go, relationships the way they should go, right? They're very codependent, maybe on money or <clears throat> the sexual aspect of the relationship. But I really feel like you have a great idea about the situ about you know what love should be and they don't. They have a needy ad addicting behavior to them. Okay, Capricorn, let's get into it with some tarot. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn right now? Sun rising and Venus signs. Give me four cards for Capricorn. please someone rising and venus signs thank you guys for your likes subscribes and shares by the way pretty soon i'm going to be hitting 10,000 subscribers and it'll be all because of you guys i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do when i hit 10,000. but anyway you popped out in your own reading okay capricorn uh queen of pentacles we have the seven of pentacles here the knight of pentacles and then we have justice a lot of earth energy here i feel like maybe you had won a situation with this person um, someone wants to invest with you, but it's like, um, I'm getting like contract vibes with it. You could be either just getting out of commitment or going into a commitment. Clarify justice here for Capricorn. That's justice here. Okay. So we have the nine of pentacles here. So you're becoming single. I feel like you're, you're getting your karma, your good karma. You're becoming single, happy, and abundant. Um, you're investing in a lot of things. You could have a new business, Capricorn, for some of you. Um, I'm also getting something uh, like you're very patient now with yourself when it comes to relationships now. You're just only focused on your pentacles, your money. It's about the nine of pentacles for Capricorn. Okay. So you have the hangman here with the lovers so yeah it's like you're sort of you could be dealing with a pisces don't have to be or a gemini but i feel like you're sort of like in limbo when it comes to making choices in love because maybe you were in like a tough situation or something that felt constrict constricting to you and you finally became free from it and now you're just like hanging around and you you're being patient with yourself when it comes to choosing who you want to love right um, I feel like there's a person around you who sees your perspective of a situation and they're starting to want to either work with you business-wise or they choose you in love. But altogether, I think your love life is in limbo right now. All right, let's see. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Capricorn? Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands here being blocked. I feel like you're sort of you don't want to be you don't want to be seen as vulnerable here or something like that. I'm getting like you've you've been through the ringer. 
Yeah, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you you just been through the ringer. You're not putting any in any effort in a situation. I feel like you're blocking someone too. You, there could be a specific person that you're blocking right now, Capricorn. Nine of Wands for Capricorn. Okay, so yeah, yeah, the Four of Pentacles, holding back your energy, harnessing your energy. It's like this is what you this is what you normally do. Um you're trying to save your money right now. You're blocking yourself off from offers, especially stable offers. It's like you're you're focused on, you know, what do I have to do to make myself stable? And you're really you're really getting that together. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles for Capricorn. Thank you. Okay, so you have the King of Swords here. Cold, logical, and detached. But you're in your head and you're thinking. You're holding back and you're just... Trying to be as logical as you can about who you choose in relationships here. I feel like this person, they caused you to be this way. Um, there's a person that has caused you to be cold and detached here. There's a masculine energy here that is very, maybe, they're not nice with their words. I'm, I'm not going to get into all that. But King of Swords here, he's not really nice with his words. He's pretty detached, cold. And I think this is maybe what you had to deal with. Seven of Pentacles here for Capricorn. The Wheel of Fortune. Investing in something that brings you good luck in the future i feel like whatever you invested in the wheel is turning in your favor here okay yeah judgment um yeah it's like the divine is finally giving you something that you've invested in okay so we have the five of pentacles here with the emperor and the four of swords so there's been some sort of controlling energy being put to rest capricorn someone is left out in the cold you took control and you left someone out in the cold. Um, they feel abandoned and they, I mean, there's just been a break to this. Queen of Pentacles for Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles for Capricorn. All right, so you have the Empress here with the Ten of Wands. So I feel like this was a burden. Even though you guys are an Emperor and an Empress, this was a burden for you. Um, I feel like there's a huge weight lifted off of your shoulders right now. Uh, Capricorn and you don't want to deal with this person anymore you guys were in a deep committed this is a deep committed relationship here soulmate energy divine masculine divine feminine type energy and in this situation the divine feminine is ready to put this burden down and not deal with this anymore or it's at a it's a break right now ten of wands for Capricorn ten of wands for Capricorn yeah, the two of wands. She's making plans on moving forward. There's something that she wants. Yeah, ace of pentacles. She could be getting um, some financial abundance, maybe a new job here, Capricorn. It's like her eyes is on, are on the prize. We have the page of wands here with the king of cups. So this person might message you. They just might message you um, to express some sort of feelings. They're trying to be strategic on how they want to message you, though. But they will. It's like they finally want to express their feelings and start something brand new with you, Capricorn. Or you could be starting something new with a um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Let me get three cards for Capricorn. We have Solitude here. Two more cards for Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yep. So, exactly, the vibe I was getting. You took control, you took authority over the situation and realized, you know what, I'd rather be alone. This is this is how I'm going to protect myself. I'm going to stay alone um, and gain my own sense of wisdom here. I don't have any wisdom in this situation with this person. I feel like maybe this person here um, constricted me from my dreams, my goals, and my money. Maybe this person, you know, was a wear and tear on your wallet and you had to put your foot down when it came to this person. And you're very much smart from this situation. You came out of the situation um, 
learning a lot, right? Just by being alone, you started to learn a lot. Sacral chakra at the bottom here. Yeah, Capricorn, you're starting to tap in, into something crazy right now when it comes to your future. You're no longer um, worried about love anymore. In fact, you want to take a break from it. And this is the only way that you're going to gain control. Spirit wants you to know that you're doing the right thing here. It does give you wisdom to go through certain things like maybe a hard marriage or a tough commitment. All right, Capricorn, that was your reading. I hope I gave you guys some clarity this week. If I did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.